In fact, a follow-up segment tonight, as you may know, there was an intense conversation in Phoenix on Wednesday between Arizona Governor Jan Brewer and President Obama. Mr. Obama was asked about it last night, and Governor Brewer also weighed in. There's a picture out there of you with Governor Jan Brewer. What was, what was going on there? She said you were tense, thin-skinned. She's all over the airways yeah, right now. Yeah, well, you know, uh, what I've discovered is, is that uh, I think it's always a good publicity for uh, a Republican if they're in an, in, uh, uh, in an argument with me. But uh, this was really not a big deal. He was a little uncomfortable, uh, a little un, uh, unappreciative, if you will, of my book and the way that he was portrayed in it. And I felt a little unnerved by the way that he uh, uh, spoke to me about it. All right, joining us from Fort Worth, Texas, Janine Turner, radio host on KLIF and from Los Angeles, Fox News contributor Leslie Marshall. So, Leslie, Governor Brewer saying President Obama was condescending to her after Arizona passed its strict immigration law. That's what this is all about, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, we weren't in the room uh, with Governor Brewer and the president, so we really don't know if he was condescending, and perception is reality. But... I find it interesting, Bill, that after the meeting at the White House, she didn't say that. It was after she wrote the book. And you know this better than I. Somebody can write something about you, but when they see you face to face, sometimes they back down on those remarks. They're not as gutsy when they're hiding behind their computer or their pen as they are face to face. And I think we saw that. If you notice when she's pointing, they both are smiling. Oh, I don't think they're real happy. I, I, I don't see a smile on her face. Janine, do you see a smile? He's always smiling. Um... But the smile doesn't look one of mirth. It looks look, I don't think they'd like each other at all. Um, and I think that, that <laughs> President Obama, you know, said, look, we, I gave you a courtesy of a White House meeting. You came in, we hashed it around, and then you wrote a book and said, I, I was this and that in the meeting, and I, I object to that. I think that's what it was all about. Janine? Uh, oh, oh, okay. Well, you know, what I find interesting is that he gets off an airplane in a state that has uh, terrible problems with, with drug dealers and terrorists and kidnapping. Someone's kidnapped every 35 hours. The FBI has, has said that it's the third, you know, for three years in a row that it's the kidnapped capital of the United States. And he's concerned about how he's portrayed in a book. I mean, to me, this is more about his ego. He's more concerned about his ego than he is the state of Arizona. And he was dismissive just to walk away from her. And if he's done it once before, we can bet that, you know, in that White House office, he probably was a bit condescending to her as well. All right. Well, that's an interesting point that uh, might be about the president's ego. But the president uh, has a unique position in this country, uh, Janine. You have to respect the office. You may not respect the man, but you have to respect the office. Now, the little finger, I do that little finger thing. You ladies know that. This little finger is out of control. I can't control it. All right. <laughs> But it doesn't look good for Governor Brewer with the little finger thing to the president of the United States, does but it? But you know what? You know what, Bill? He's not the king. No, but He's the office. The remember the office hey, of the president. Yes, but remember that she's the governor, and he walked away from her mid-sentence, and he's concerned about how he's portrayed in a book. I mean, how about how are things in the state of Arizona, Governor Brewer? How can I help? Let me come visit the border of Arizona. He hasn't even visited the border of Arizona. No, he just sues her, and he's suing her, but she shows up to be gracious and gives him a very nice note saying, I would love for you to visit the border and let's I'll buy you lunch. All right. Uh, what do you say, Leslie? Was it inappropriate for uh, Mr. Obama to walk away on the tarmac? Well, first of all, it's inappropriate for anyone to point. Come on, Bill. Your mother taught you that, you know. Yeah, Ms. but Manners, I made a lot of money pointing, Leslie. Come on now. <laughs> yes, that's you know? yes, but you're, you're right, Bill. It is not the person. It is the office. His position as commander-in-chief trumps her position as governor of Arizona. She was respectful to come out and to meet him in Arizona. For him to walk away, look, I wasn't there. The way I think it went down is he's like, Jan... I didn't know you thought I was being condescending, didn't like those things you were saying about me in your book. And she starts in on him regarding immigration, which is not his decision nor hers at this point. It is now in the hands of the Supreme Court. End of story. I don't feel the president just cares about his ego. Come on, anybody right, who's president be has with an this. ego. The president of the United States and the female governor of Arizona in a little tete-a-tete, -tete, word of the day, tete-a-tete, -tete, all right, that <laughs> develops into this. This is a loser for the president. It's a loser because he's more powerful than she is. And in the game of gender dynamics, Janine, 
Mm -hmm. You can't do it. <laughs> you can't. No, do it. no, you can't do it. See, I'm and, much and, lighter you know, than you on you guys than I am on Mars and Rove. I am. I'll admit it. Yeah. I'm much lighter on you guys <laughs> than I am on them. But you know what? He because he is the president. Because he is the president, he needs to have some dignity and some respect, and to be gracious and to go in on the book. I, I still can't get over yeah, that. Yeah, I, that's I think more, you're making a good point. He probably should have overlooked the dopey book. What difference does it make? He's the president, and he's got the big jet. Yeah. And then she's <laughs> down there, and I like Arizona. That's not a bad place to be, that's for sure. All right, ladies, good yeah. discussion, we, and we appreciate it. Well, we come right back, Lou Dobbs, on whether money will sink Mitt Romney's quest to be president. And then an NPR reporter 